Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so they want us to simplify. I'm just going to go through this slowly without any rush and just relax and start multiplying stuff. I've got a square i minus 7i, so I'm going to expand that binomial. And then what I'm going to do is distribute. So I'm going to leave this xi out for now. i times i is i squared. i times negative 7i is negative 7i squared. Negative 7 times, negative 7 i times i is negative 7, and i times i is i squared. And then negative 7 times negative 7i is a positive 49i squared. All of that eventually has to be multiplied by xi, but before I do that, because I haven't dealt with that yet, let's simplify things. If you remember, i, or over here, i equals the square root of negative 1. So that also means that if you square both sides, i squared is equal to negative 1. Right? Wonderful property of imaginary numbers that you can square an imaginary number and get a negative result. So here, that just changes this whole thing. The way I'm going to simplify so I'm confuse myself is I'm going to first combine things. i squared, this is minus 14 i squared plus 49. So it's negative 14 plus 49 is what? That's um, 35, right? i squared. I'm just count really all you're doing right there is counting the groups of i squares. We have one i squared, we lose seven, lose another seven, gain 49. That's the same thing as having 49 and taking 14 away. And that's 35 groups of i squared. And then we have one group of i squared plus 35 groups of i squared. And that's 36 groups of i squared. You're just counting groups of i squares. Now, i squared is negative one. So this is really just negative 36, right? Times xi. And that's negative 36xi. And that is the answer. Hope that helped.